Tonight we're working on our sliders. And you can see here I've got two pounds of meat in my bowl with uh, my seasonings. And I'll just give you the mixture of what I've got for one pound of meat and you just double it. So what I've got in here is two tablespoons of dried minced onion, two tablespoons dried minced garlic, two tablespoons of uh, onion soup mix, two tablespoons of Country Bob's all-purpose sauce, one half teaspoon of coarse black pepper, and one quarter pound of bacon. Just double that, you know, for each pound. I've got two pounds in here, so we'll double that. And as you can see, I've kind of chopped the bacon up. I've partially cooked it, and I've chopped it up into a small pieces. We use a leaner cut of meat, and then we use the bacon partially uh, cooked so that the juices from the bacon make the, uh, the burger itself real juicy. And I'm going to mix this with my hand and then just put it back in the refrigerator and let everything get happy for a while. What it looks like after I mixed it, I just mixed it by hand. If you look real close, you can see a little bit of the garlic and the onion in there. And this is an extra treat. We're using M&M Livestock grass-fed beef for this, which is just a whole unique flavor in itself. Much, much better tasting, much fresher. Just I don't know how to describe it, but until you've tried a little grass-fed beef, you just won't, won't believe the difference. I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator now and just let everything get happy and, and blend together for a couple hours before I make my patties. Sit in the refrigerator overnight with all the seasonings blending and I've weighed them out to 25 one and a half ounce balls. And I normally wouldn't do that, you know, if I was just cooking for Patty and I, but we're trying to develop the recipe and make sure we get all our seasonings just right on. So that's why I measure. For you guys at home, you probably just want to make decent little meatballs. From what I've read and looked at everything, most of sliders are between one and two ounce patties. So we're gonna do one and a half. Our meatballs in our mold. We bought a little slider mold that uh, seems to work pretty slick here. And we're putting an ounce and a half of meatballs in here. She's flattening them out a little bit. And uh, it takes six at a time. See how easy that is. I gave it a little shot of uh, cooking spray to help it uh, release there. And then she's going to take the top of the mold and uh, fit it down on there. Put a little bit of pressure on it. All those muscles flexing. <laughs> and get there it, it is. Out. It's kind of slipping a fork around it and then just kind of following the grooves there and sliding up underneath there and they just lift right out. Isn't that pretty? Two pounds of patties that we've made up. And you can see these patties are pretty good size. They're an ounce and a half a piece. I think that might uh, do well to compete with some of the burgers downtown, the fast food places, as far as that goes. But these are our sliders. And I've got uh, three types of meat here. These boys right here are going to be our blue cheese. I believe they have four ounces of blue cheese to a half pound of meat. Ones on the back row back here are just our standard patties, or traditional. They're going to be the tr traditional burger, our bacon Swiss burger, and then our sticky burger. And then these guys right here, I've just received some of Jack's, uh, Jack's Tailgater's Cajun seasoning and we put uh, a half teaspoon of his seasoning and a half pound of our meat. So we're still experimenting there. We might increase that yet. Wanted to be careful, didn't want to get too salty. Although it doesn't taste very salty tasting it, so we'll have to run that by a few times before we get that one worked out. But that sounded like a good starting point. So now we're going to put these in the fridge. Remember, burgers do better if they go on the grill cold. They hold together better. That's where your beef, your steaks, your roast, and uh, chops and you know your big pieces of meat, your grilling meat, you want to go on at room temperature. All right, two sliders we're doing tonight here are going to be our bacon Swiss. These are just with the traditional meat patty that we've uh, worked up the recipe on, which you'll see that I've posted. It's a pretty nice recipe. you got bacon in the meat, and then we're going to put Swiss cheese and bacon on top of it and do it on a uh, slider roll. I'm going to do these three minutes aside. Okay, gave them a turn. I'm going to give them another three minutes aside. And we'll stack these things up, see how they go. Put the bacon and the cheese on them here in just a minute. 
All right, these are bacon Swiss right here. They are just about ready for the bread. Look in good. These are starting to melt real nice. Look at these. These are for gogies. And we did them with a little dusting of Jack's tailgaters to totally smoke dust. Neat little blue cheese slider. You can see all that cheese in there. Blue cheese mixed in with the meat. Bacon, onions, garlic. Uh, these would be good. We did some test ones the other day. They were awesome. The blue cheese just dripping and oozing out of there. Isn't that pretty? The cheese is just all through this meat. Really, really tasty. Slider ready to go. Look at that cheese coming out of there. Oh, oh, oh. These are the Cajun slider patties, and they've got the Jack's tailgating seasoning in the Cajun seasoning. We'll see, it's the first time we're using that. Tastes pretty good. With a taste test, we'll see how it does. Good coating or smear of Granville's Cajun barbecue jam, or top and bottom of the bun. Good cheddar cheese, Cajun seasonings in the meat. Oh, 